Hello guys, welcome back to Droid Crunch. In this video, we're going to create a nice post filter with a search and filter alongside it. And to do this, we're going to use Dimac.0O post video widget. And we're also going to use search and filter pro plugin. And you can find this plugin right here search and filter pro in features. And when installed and activated this plugin, you can make sure that this is also activated in this one okay to use the functionality of this plugin so you can download this plugin from its website that's searchandfilter.com and you can buy it at as low as $20 for single site and $75 for a developer person right so you can install on multiple websites if you use this okay so we are gonna quickly use this one now and first of all let me go back to my search and filter okay here you can find it to start with let me first create a web page okay in pages i can create a new page and i may call it search okay so let's give it a name search and i would make sure it's permalink is good okay and let's publish it and let me add it with elementor and on this page i'm going to use post widget that's dynamic but post v2 widget and here it is and i also need to make sure that my layout is aligned with what i am just uh, expecting it to be so i will i would add a new column to it and would make it here right and for my section i would give it some padding or maybe margin on top and bottom like 50 pixels okay and then this one would be a little bit here right and here i would just use my search and filter okay which i would create right there okay i'm gonna create a new search and filter form so when you create a one so i would name it first search posts because we would be searching the posts these posts right so here you need to understand all these settings right here so this is like a query like what it will query because we're going to use this right here in this search and filter pro so it's being used in a query type okay so it would you know expecting you the post type post status and all that right there okay because we are going to use it right here using a short code or something and then it would you know take all the data right from here so we need to make sure that if you are showing post right there you need to keep it to post only otherwise it would show pages as well right there right then you can make sure that you are showing the number of results per page that you want and you can use permalinks oh, sorry you can use paginations you can make you can also use infinite scroll and all that and let's keep it to 10 and then we have auto submit form so without clicking on submit button your form would work if you keep it to true and i'm going to use false for this and we will use a button this one okay in my search form ui let me add this right there okay now it's here I have two submit buttons let me do it one okay i will keep it to the default submit text and then i would i can just make sure that uh, when search form is used on any page other than search results page it will detect the post type and associated text from the current page and set defaults in the search form to match these uh, okay choose which kind of pages will try to do this on i would just keep it to default and i would just use display results and these are all loops archive pages loop page post type archives also a loop then all the loop pages are there and then we have some dynamic u post v2 that's also a loop and these three loops are from dynamic.u and we are going to use this post v2 loop okay and then we have this uh our page right there okay now we have url that we're going to use this one and we're going to make it here 
okay and then we have this ajax options like without having to uh, reload the page the query would work if you keep it to true and then we have make search as bookmarkable and only use ajax on the results pages and scroll window to and when the click when the button is clicked okay and then you have these uh, form fields to create a form of search okay and then you have these post results uh, like whether they are published scheduled and pending private trash all that and then you have exclude options for the post which you don't want to show in the loop and then you have option to make the uh, sticky post to be shown or not you also see this option in post v2 sometimes post is the key to enable or not and then you have this default order option uh, for the post like whether it's sending or descending and then you have these all options which are also uh, then post v2 but we are using search and filter then you can uh, set all these options from right there and it could use through a short code in your query okay and you have this secondary sort order as well okay and then you have this tags categories and taxonomies all that that you can include or, dis in or exclude and you have this post meta condition uh, like pre for example you have this custom field i have this custom field for my page fields like this one you can see my text okay so i can create a condition that uh, this my text over here is a character right it's a text character and then it's exists if the character exists this uh, value then the result will be shown only right so you can say my text is number for example my text is number type and then you can keep it to numeric and then you can say if it's uh, less than 18 only then show the specific post okay so this is kind of condition and then you have advanced options to make it more relevanceable or you can enable the relevancy options to show the results based on relevancy and not obeying the search uh, based on the default sort order right and then you have option to make it a uh, force search that's a wordpress query function if you want to make it force that or that's the same way you can uh, always be true for the is archive okay and just to replay i have this condition for my post to show like i'm going to use post type to post that would be shown here all these posts and the results per pages and fields relationship whether and or or that's based on the relationship between the tag category taxonomy or post meta choice fields okay and then you have this enable auto count option to dynamically update the count number shown okay and this is the to detect the default from current page and then you have this display results i have kept it to my the search page okay because i'm going to use uh, this short code on this page okay so wherever your short code is lying you need to put the url of the same page right there and i have enabled the ajax options and using the display method to post v2 and in post i have used published post and all the other things are default and then i am not using all these conditions text and categories and advanced feature for relevancy as well and then i have to just uh, add something to my search box like you can say category right and say drop down you can make it checks box or radio as well so if you have less categories you can make it either radio as well or checkbox so i can keep it to check radio okay so let's publish it okay now search post we have got a name and we can use it right there and search okay it picked it up now what we have to do we have to select this form right here as well okay okay now we got it but what uh, mistake we did we just used the submit button on top but it should be below all fields or all the other fields right now let's update it 
and update our page and let's see what we have got okay so this is nice search uh, form and all these posts now let's filter them by news submit it okay now we have got this one uh, if this is covering all the entire you know uh, space and then what you have to do you can just uh, get back to this click on it and here you have grid option and you can make flex grow to zero or disable right and you can update this and now when you reload this page see what happens let's click to news submit and now it would show one but it would not cover all the space right like this now you can increase your fields you have all the fields in your form like taxonomy post type post data sorry post date post meta author and sort order and submit button and reset button so if you have using more of the f these fields you can use reset button as well so uh, if you are using some filters then you can reset it with just one button okay and then you have this tag cell well i am not having all this uh, data filled up for my post so otherwise i would have shown you so you can just test this out and and uh, if you stuck anywhere you can just comment your queries in the comment box or you can just head over to our group that's elementary here for wordpress community i will leave a link in the description so you can easily uh, reach to our group and here you can you know uh, share all uh, queries and all and we're gonna see and help if possible in various time so this is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions you can ask and please subscribe to our channel for watching more videos like this and please hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new video that we're gonna upload till then bye bye have a wonderful day stay healthy stay blessed bye bye